There are more than 7.3 billion of us on the planet today, and we'll reach 9.8 billion by 2050. What do we really know about our growing population? Every year, the Population Reference Bureau provides a global snapshot of key demographic figures and insights about how we live. Over half of the world is living in urban areas. 26% of people are under age 15. Women worldwide are having an average of 2.5 children each. By comparing country data, we can see disparities in people's quality of life. Average gross income per person ranges from $610 in the Central African Republic to almost $134,000 in Qatar. There are 24 countries with life expectancy below age 60, all of them in Africa. And infants die in 62 out of 1,000 births for the least developed countries, compared to 5 in 1,000 for the more developed. One segment of the population is key to addressing inequality, women. UN member countries recognize this in their Millennium Development Goals that set anti-poverty benchmarks through 2015. To achieve gender equality, countries need to empower women with the ability to make decisions that impact them, whether it's choosing how many children to have or controlling their personal finances. Evidence shows that extending social, economic and political rights to women improves quality of life for all people. Education for girls helps prevent early marriage, reduces child and maternal deaths and boosts earning power. We've seen many more girls enrolled in primary and secondary school in the last 15 years. But in Southern Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa, it is still a challenge for girls to reach higher levels of schooling. Girls may struggle with cultural norms that keep them at home, violence in transit to school, or lack of money. Women's access to paid employment has continued to grow, but at a slow pace. Women now have a growing share of jobs outside of agriculture, like in the service sector or in factories but women still lag behind men in non-farm work in the vast majority of countries. And worldwide, when women do work, they often make less money than men. In government, women's involvement affects how much say they have in the policies that shape their lives. There has been some headway, with the total number of women in national legislatures almost doubling in the last 20 years but women still only hold one in five seats. Women have come a long way towards equality, but there is still work to be done under the next set of UN Development Goals. How far will women progress in the next 15 years? The future of our growing population depends on it.